Hello, everybody. Uh, continuing with the knots, uh, I think what I'd like to do today is uh, use the bending fork that I made in the last video and then uh, make another knot somewhat similar. Uh, I think I'll take the same stock and then I'll, uh, I think I'll bend it in half and then form that into a knot and then work that into the handle end of something. Uh, you know, I was thinking maybe in my mind, maybe make a fork. So let's see how it goes. Not enough yet, so I'll have to work that so I can pull that, you know, pull that through. But uh, yeah, I should have made, I should have left the loop just a little bit uh, uh, bigger because you know, doubling this up just makes it all makes it a little bit harder. Let's see if I can get that isolated. Nah, it's not really helping too much. You know, so what you have to do is you have to look at it and then work it from the back end around. You know, and, and make sure that the piece is, you know, it's, it's going around without the anvil face stopping it from, you know, working through. So you see how I've kind of worked it just like that in that kind of a manner, you know, going around is how it should be working. So I'll have to get that out. Once that's out, then I can grab it in the vise and tighten it up again like that. And uh, so, yeah, anyway, you know, it's getting there.
think uh, eventually, once I once I do this more and more, if I do, I'll probably figure out a better way to get that tighter. But you know, as it is, you can see now that end, you know, that end is protruding enough that I should be able to grab it in the vise and then see if that'll if I can you know tighten that, uh, pull it out more in that way because that seems to be uh, what happened last time is that pulled it much tighter. But you got to get it real hot. You got to make sure your tongue is holding well so you can pull. So yeah, so it's through. And let me get it in the box. Could have got this a little hotter. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah. It's come through a little bit. Got to get this tightened down again, Mel. But yeah, I'll give that another go. Yeah, much better. little pot spot right here I can work that on the anvil that little opening that not so I think I'm gonna do what I did last time and I'm gonna square all that up and then work it I don't know just you know play it by ear as I'm going along. It looks like a jumbled mess right now. <laughs> it does. Kind of interesting though. Yeah, I'll just continue on. See, see where the road goes.
kind of it's pretty funky looking. And I'll have to uh, let me think about that part. I'm gonna work on this end now. Let's see what I'm gonna do. twist on this end just for the heck of it and then if this is going to be a fork then that'll hold it tighter before you know where the tines come out you can't have it like that you gotta have that solid right before where the tines split apart so I'll put a twist in and uh, see what that looks like I should draw those out a little bit more if this is going to be a fork. in the Museum of Modern Art, <laughs> you know, it's a modern art fork. It does look, I mean, I, I, I'm sure the camera can't pick this up, but from my angle, it looks really funky. It does look, it's pretty interesting, actually. Um, I'm going to clean this up, you know, clean the tines up a little bit with the angle grinder, and then uh, and then I'll show you that, the, the uh, finished product. Obviously, you know, if this was made from stainless steel, this is just mild steel, because, you know, practicing these knots, you know, I don't want to use a steel that's too hard to bend uh, with stainless. It wouldn't be impossible, but it'd definitely be harder than just using uh, mild steel. So, yeah, let me let me clean her up a little bit, and then uh, you know I'll show you guys 
final product. Well, there it is. I just hit it, hit it with the angle grinder really quickly, just for about five minutes. You guys know I don't like to do cold work. You know, as I was working on this, I didn't like this at all until the very end. I feel it's, you know, it's obviously organic looking. I mean, some people would just say, well, you, you just beat up the metal. But I think that the, you know, the end result's pretty desirable. I kind of like the way it feels in my hand. And if you showed up you know, at the campgrounds with this to turn a steak, I think some people would, would be interested and say, hey, where did you get that? It's really nice. So what I'll do now is I'm going to throw it back in the fire and, uh, you know, form some more scale on that and get rid of those, uh, you know, get rid of that, uh, the shiny look to it. So, yeah, let me get that done and show you the very end product. And there is the finished product. I think it looks better, you know, not shined up, just with a nice coat of scale. And that gives it just minimal rust protection. Yeah, this, is, uh, this has been another fun project. You know, every time I do things like this, that I'm just when I'm just experimenting, I, I learn a lot myself. So I enjoy doing these sorts of videos. You know, of course, I'm going to do other videos like of things I normally make a lot, like different tong videos and stuff. So yeah, stay tuned. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll speak to you guys next time. Take it easy.